That one got away from him. Took a hop just as he was about to strike him. Well, that's not Jeff Billick's forte. He's not a dangerous guy coming forward in the attack. He's done great work for them defensively. He's not really a goal-scoring threat. He's one of these guys that does a lot of the running in front of the others and gives room for Lasseter, Washington, Amani Dove, Fenger to get into the attack. 56 minutes in. I really do think, as you mentioned, tactical issues, and at some point we're going to see a substitution for both teams as Richmond again tries to come on the attack. And as we mentioned, you crop uh, Leckix on that Richmond bench among the players, Mike Burke, that you might see. And Virginia Beach is also very deep. In fact, the leading scorer from last year, Gary Brooks, is on the bench if they, if they want to add some uh, fresh legs up front. Well, he gives them fresh legs, and believe it or not, he gives them more speed than they have. He's probably the fastest player in the team. You take out Lasseter of Washington, bring on Brooks, and you're Here even faster. Here comes Jeffrey. And Simmons. Oh. Just such a tantalizing opportunity there for the kickers. Well, Kevin Jeffrey is just having his way with the, with the Mariner defense right now. They have to adjust him. They cannot give him space to get off shots at the top of the box as he does here. Dave, we look over on the sideline, and Rob Ucrop preparing to come in the game. You called it earlier on. Ucrop, the former great at Davidson, where he led the nation in scoring, having sort of a second, second life as a, a professional at age 32. He's been very effective in recent games for, for the kickers. Washington tried to get through Matt Bobo. Matt Bobo is called for the foul, so a free kick from a very dangerous position for the Virginia Beach Mariners. We are seeing two outstanding attacking players, Dante Washington and Kevin Jeffrey, maybe the two most effective attackers in the entire league going out of each other at the other end of the field tonight. Aguilera to take the free kick in this 2-2 match. And Richmond has the height advantage, so you would think this would work to their advantage in this situation. Let's see, Aguilera. Getting up for it was Mahoney, but we mentioned the height advantage. Luzak for Richmond got there first. Well, that's uh, Peter Luzak's strength in the air. A very athletic defender. Excellent header of the ball. Finger on the throw it. Mahoney battling for it. Washington gets a boot on it. Then it's swept by by Stockton. Stockton may have saved a goal opportunity there. Fengered out. Difficult ball. Gets loose at the six. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hutcherson almost got his second goal tonight as he came bursting through. And boy, was he coming in, and that was ever so close. I think that, that Steve Dambuski got away with one. He was all over Hutchison when Hutchison came forward. No call awarded, but look at this ball being clipped in by Fenger, and it's Hutchison coming forward, and Dambuski fighting, fighting him off, and Hutchison does well to get ahead on that ball regardless. It's Jason Russell there fighting with Hutchison, and Hutchison right there in the six. So the action continues to be hotly contested as the substitution has been made. Rob Ucrop coming on, had a goal last week in Richmond's 3-1 win of the Charlotte Eagles, replacing goal scorer tonight, Greg Simmons. Greg Simmons did some nice work getting that first goal, being very, very active, and now fresh legs and a new approach. Simmons relying on speed and quickness. Ucrop on physical power is his asset. And we're going to foul and a free kick as Steve Taylor let it play a bit for the advantage, but now a free kick for Virginia Beach. So we've had a bit of a pendulum swing going here in the second half, and it's gone back toward Virginia Beach. Well, Virginia Beach played very well in the first half as we look at this situation. Look at the strength of Dante Washington. Just over to hold off players, create restarts. He's just such a physically imposing player. Now, Paul Lekix, as we talked about, will come in. So he will enter the match, replace Tony Williams in the midfield for the Richmond kickers. And again, on that replay, you saw who else? Of course, Matt Bobo interlocked there with Dante Washington. Matt Bobo is a strong physical guy himself, and Dante Washington is holding him off and other players that come to support. So Tony Williams will go out. Paul Lekix will come in. So Richmond making two substitutions here with uh, about 30 minutes to go. 
I think perhaps Lee Kalashal thinking not just of today's game, but tomorrow's will have players will have to go again with another match in 24 hours. Pascal has to parry it away with Lassiter trying to get out of the header on the restart. Amici Amati Dove with Jeffrey battling him. Aguilera now. Amici Amati Dove cross is blocked by Stockton. Amati Dove stays with it. Richmond now trying to clear it out of their defensive third, having trouble. Stockton finally just boots it upfield. Virginia Beach again in the white. Service from the back. Looking for Lassiter. Fox heads it away. That was Dan Busky with the service from the back. Now coming forward, Finger. He's marked by Kevin Knight. And Finger going down in the box, but there'll be no call. Kevin Knight was on him for Richmond, but no call. And Roy Lassiter getting a yellow card for dissent, protesting too vigorously. The ball comes in. This is Fenger going through. Will it get a good look? Kevin Knight is on him. He takes him down. I think that would have should have been a penalty kick. Instead, the yellow card, and Ronnie Pascal happy it was not a penalty kick. Richmond kicker's goal kick instead. 62 minutes into the match. 2 2 our score. Sean McDonald on the sideline is really upset with no call taking place on that particular time. And now Steve Taylor, I think, is giving a red card perhaps uh, to the coach, Sean McDonald, the assistant, Mark Simpson. I didn't say anything to you. Well, what did he say? No, you need to ask me for what? And maybe Mark Simpson, the assistant coach, former D.C. United goalkeeper. for what? I'm asking you for what? Well, Mark Simpson is done for the night. Sean McDonald's top assistant. As uh, Virginia Beach clearly thought there should have been a penalty kick awarded. We can only have to assume it was something said to the fourth official on the sideline because Steve Taylor was nowhere near Mark Simpson. He did come over to talk to the sideline official, and Mark Simpson just doesn't know what he did, quite frankly, and I'm not really sure. No way to tell. Probably dissent or something said, and now Sean McDonald is really letting the fourth official have it. He's very upset about losing his assistant as well as a chance for a penalty kick. Hutchison sends it into the box. 63 minutes in, Virginia Beach at a point where they need to keep their composure. Richmond, not really the same story as well. As emotions flying in a battle between teams separated by one point in the Southeast Division of the A-League. Well, this is what uh, really, I think, got the bench steam for Virginia Beach. Uh, Kevin Knight got away with a foul. No question, he takes finger down from behind in the box. Earlier in the first half, there was a similar situation in, in which a Richmond player might have been taken down, and maybe that's kind of a makeup call, but a very questionable one. I thought a penalty kick should have been awarded. Be a throw in coming up for the Richmond kickers, Paul Lekix. Kevin Knott heads it away, fingered out. And he will just concede a throw in, and it'll be a throw in coming up for the Richmond kickers as they come back on the attack. Four goals tonight. As we look at Jacob Fenger, who thought he got a penalty kick. Instead, he's defending now. David Testo. Switches all the way over to the left side. Hutchison boots it away on the volley. Matt Bobo, who's defending Dante Washington, steps up. Engineers the attack. Jeffrey now slots it through. Ucrop. Ucrop gets stuffed by Mahoney. Hutchison sweeps it away. Comes out to Jeffrey. Jeffrey is everywhere. Oh, what a move by Jeffrey. He goes down. <laughs> there is not going to be a penalty kick forthcoming. There's Virginia Beach saying that he dived. And now Richmond wants the penalty, and it's very hard for the referee to award a penalty after he didn't award one at the other end. But how about the moves of, of Kevin Jeffrey? And Rob Ucrop already creating a presence by coming in. He had a quick turn in his shot in that sequence, as well as the action initiated by Jeffrey. 2 to our score. As now Kevin Knott. 
Aguilera. Washington falling down at the top of the D. We're going to get a foul on Matt Bobo, who's been his shadow all night. Matt Bobo should sleep very well tonight after having to mark Dante Washington. What a force he is. Just so strong, and he's extremely fit, just going as hard in the 70th minute of the match as he did in the first. A free kick coming up for Virginia Beach from a very dangerous position. I don't know where this wind just came from out of, out of nowhere. I hope it's... Uh, Stays, though. It feels good on this Stevie night. Aguilera strikes the ball. And Pato with a good effort. Very, very dangerous. Very clever to bend that ball in. A good chance to get a go off that restart. Richmond fortunate there that Aguilera didn't get that ball down just a little bit. And the Richmond kickers appear ready to make another substitution as uh, Virginia Beach also. So again, we've reached 66 minutes. And again, if you're wondering, well, is this a lot of substitutions? Like you made a good point, just of reminding viewers, Richard, that these two teams play again 24 hours from now, just uh, 100 miles up the road in Richmond. And this is interesting, the two players being substitutes, substituted in the game, both with DC United. David Stokes, the young defender from North Carolina. Brian Carroll, the attacking midfielder from Wake Forest. They played against each other in high school. Now they're standing on the sideline, ready to go in against one another. Free kick now, 67 minutes in. Kevin Jeffrey traps it down. Jeffrey now coming through after the ball from Ucrop, and Larson will scoop this up. Clever ball that time by Rob Ucrop to send Jeffrey through. Good defending that time by the Virginia Beach Mariners. Ronnie Pascal coming up with it for the Richmond Kickers, and. Uh, I don't know if a storm is coming in now to Virginia Beach, but after this steamy day here, suddenly the wind has just picked up. If it was Kansas, I'd be looking for a tornado, I think, at this point. So you maybe are hearing that as part of the sounds of this uh, USL on Fox Sports World broadcast tonight. It's Kansas, Kevin Jeffrey would be the wizard because he has been just magical in the attack. Let's see if he can get as Fox brings it forward. Kevin not staying with Fox, but in the middle to Testo. Now Jason Russell. Jason Russell, he's got Stockton coming up in support. Now Testo. Fox chips into the box. Mahoney is there. The sports of the match brought to you by Field Auto City. that effort by Dante Washington save that ball from going out of bounds I just the more I watch Dante Washington the more I'm impressed he really has really not lost it Aguilera now on the ball for Virginia Beach and this wind is a welcome relief but we'd like it under 30 miles an hour please 2-2 two, two our score Mahoney Dante Washington now Nine goals on the season in the A-League. Another one tonight. You crop to Lekix. Oh, Lekix now comes forward. Lekix to you crop. He can make a turn. He does. Good idea by you crop. He, he's a guy that can hold the ball, and he made that turn, and he was trying to bury it in the far corner. And he is the ultimate specialist. He is. Very, very dangerous inside that goal box. 30-some goals as a collegian. This is why he can hold the ball and he can turn and get off chances in very small spaces, just wide of the far post on that occasion. Actually spent some time with Baltimore in indoor soccer years ago, and because of that strength of the balls, Brian Carroll comes in, replaces David Testo. Again, Carroll on loan from DC United, and David Testo, just a quality night for him as he goes off, played some magnificent balls from his left side of position. Hutchison goes out, and David Stokes comes in. Of course, Hutchison was involved in a couple goals that I include scoring one. Uh, Russell Hutchison has had an outstanding match, probably the man of the match, at least for the first half. But oftentimes, this is what Virginia Beach does. They bring on David Stokes for Hutchinson. They really don't lose an ink. David Stokes, a terrific athlete, very fine defender on that flank. Brian Carroll will give Richmond, on the other hand, a lot of activities, very fit. He just runs it up and down the park. Tremendous engine. Now Aguilera. Plays it wide to David Stokes, who's come in for Hutchison. David Stokes now still on the ball. 
Now wide on the left side. Kevin Knott. Saw him have trouble with that ball. That's the win. Finger. Washington top of the box. Washington makes that turn. Now Kevin Knott coming through. Pascal the save. And they'd like to bring Kevin Knott forward and Dante Washington able to hold the ball off and create that chance for Kevin Knott. Now Lekix. Finger stuffs him on the near flank. 2 2 our scores. The tension builds 71 minutes into the match. Two teams separated by a point in the standings and tied on the scoreboard. Once again, it's Kevin Knott getting into the attack, ready to make a play. Ball is played into Washington. Look how strong he is, able to hold it, creating a chance for Kevin Knott. Very good defending that time by Pascal. And Kevin Knight, as you mentioned, right there defending for Richmond as well. The kicker's now trying to come through midfield. Aguilera gets on to it. Now Billick. Good use of uh, his body by Billick. He's fouled by Leckings. A free kick coming up for Virginia Beach. And Jeff Moore. Yeah, go ahead, Richard. You're right. Jeff Moore about to come in for Virginia Beach as the substitution parade continues. Jeff Moore may come in for Jeff Billick in the midfield, but Billick is just so fundamentally sound. He rarely makes a mistake, and he draws a foul chance for restart here. 72 minutes in, Moore played 18 games last year with the Metro Stars in Major League Soccer. So certainly a, a player with a lot of experience, and he will now take on Jacob Finger. Well, Finger's had a very good match. He's run up and down this flank all game long. But Moore, with his experience with the Metro Stars, can play inside. I thought he might have been going on for Billick, but this time he's playing an outside position. Very, very solid player himself. Not the uh, free kick. Why did David Stokes? Stokes down. Marked by Carroll. Gets the cross off. And it was more stumbling at the far post, but we saw the Stokes Carroll matchup right there. Two players in Clayton High School. So look at Moore, who just came on, but stumbled at the far post. Well, David Stokes was a forward when he played in high school, so he's very comfortable getting into the attack. He's a deceptive player. He's, he's big, and you don't think he's that agile, but he is. He gets to a lot of balls, makes a lot of plays you don't think he's going to make. We got everything tonight, 73 minutes in, 2-2 the score. We got a driving wind here out of the clear blue and fighter jets still flying over. So lots of atmosphere tonight here at Virginia Beach. It's the Mariners in the white. Kevin Knight with the ball, the steady defender for the Richmond kickers. Looking for Ucrop. Nice header to Russell. Mahoney reads that. Russell get all to Jeffrey. The flag is up. Offside. Offside the call. Free kick. Very, very close. Kevin Jeffrey has to smile because he knew he was fouled and if only could have just held his run just a split second longer. So free kick for the Mariners, but this is the offside. Ball clipped through and we don't get a real good angle, but Jeffrey, he thought he was on when the ball, but it's when the ball was played, not when Jeffrey received it. Ball for Lassiter. Pascal scoops it up. He mentioned the window because it is affecting the, the play at times. The ball taking some crazy curls because of this win. It is a significant win. Really changes your aerial game in particular.